this is Shanta and I'm here with Meg Stewart and we are going to talk about getting things done by David Allen, his David Allen's program, which the book getting things done. I have it right here. It's going to be backwards, but getting things done. This is my super sexy um, straw wrapper. Yeah, that is Mark. great for a, <laughs> you are a professional writer, Shanta, and you don't have a legitimate I bookmark <laughs> i do have a whole stack of them don't ask me why so we are going to talk about um things like the fact that i'm this far in to a book that i've been reading since i last i was at a in and out burger in 2018 <laughs> and um just uh what kind of stuff we're working on for it uh, this is so the word of the year for ninja writers is adapt and the book that we are reading, like if people want to read it, but the team is reading and then hopefully other ninja writers will want to join us is Getting Things Done by David Allen. And I was like thinking this was going to be awesome. And instead it's like super confusing and upsetting to me. <laughs> super confusing. She called me and said this I book know. is bananas. <laughs> it's bananas. I got the workbook and so did Meg. So it's easier. The workbook is easier for yes. me. I so highly, it's like, highly, I, I highly recommend the workbook. I yeah, read the book a long, long time ago um, when I was in college. And, um, and then again, afterwards, when I was working for this um, global recruiting company and um, yeah, I read the one that is um, getting things done plus um, out Evernote. Oh, outlook. outlook. Yeah. And so, and what I remember about it is when I was doing that system, like I could put my hands on anything within seconds. My How whole system, long did it take you to set that up though? Was my it like whole system, well, I, my whole system was digital. So I was using Microsoft Outlook to capture everything and um, everything was in the computer. So but it was all digital. It, took it might me be interesting. Probably a weekend, if I remember right. And Just maybe a weekend? Yeah, and maybe a couple weeks for it to really gel, you it know, might be and for the system to, to really about start. Working. Why it's not still working? Like, what about it kept you? Well, from I lost my. Um, I changed jobs and my so my Outlook account changed, you know, because that mm. was connected to the email address for the company. So I would have had to go in and set the whole thing up all over again. And I should have because after I left King Cannon and Reed, I was working for myself as a freelancer. So I really should have. Um, but it was just me and I had a couple of clients and it wasn't hard to keep track of what I needed to do, you know, so Mm -hmm. um, well, now, this is what I like about the workbook is uh, this yes. is what I needed. Like step one with like giant exclamation. Yeah. <laughs> like do this, do this uh, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause it takes like dozens of pages in this book to, but it exactly. also has, wait a minute. It has this little handy section in the back. Yeah. A checklist. I like this. You guys, is it the yes. checklist? <laughs> a progress tracker oh. and so each thing that well where is it each thing that they tell you to do i can't get my camera to line up each thing there that is. they tell you to do is right here but and i love that so, he tells you like stop yeah. in the, the book back he says book. like he go says, write down like this, your progress like ginormous yeah. exclamation point go give yourself yeah. some credit Right. And I need that because I was reading the book and I was like, I don't understand any of this. And then I felt stupid and I don't like feeling stupid. And I was like, oh, no, I, I started. This. I started it last night because the workbook came yesterday. I started it last night. The first thing I did because I've done this system before, so I knew kind of what the first step was. I cleaned off my entire desk. Y'all, my mm -hmm. desk has not been cleaned off since I took the picture for the blog post that I put on Medium, which I believe was in 2018. I don't even know. <laughs> so my desk is cleaned off. I have this great big desk and I had this little tiny space like this that I was working on because everything was stacked up. So my desk is cleaned off and I'm ready. So, so um, do you have an inbox, like a actual paper inbox? Well, what I did is I have this little tray right here 
don't know if you can see that. This yeah. little tray is my, this is for home stuff, for like personal stuff with the kids and whatnot. So what's and in there? Like in that, oh, in you don't want to know what's in here. All right. Okay. <laughs> so this is when I cleaned off my desk, this is everything that was on my desk that I wanted to hang on to whatever. And so I have some Christmas cards that came in. I have some postcards, a um, couple of pictures, more Christmas cards. Cause of course those were laying on my desk. Um, I did put my index cards in here because when I was doing Shanta's system, I was going to write quotes and stuff like that and have an index file box. That's uh, Ryan Holiday's system. Yeah, that didn't you were gonna happen. Do it. it didn't happen. You didn't do your your um, commonplace, but that's not a, a productivity system. That's just um, yeah. for keeping track of your quotes. And so then I also have all these little sticky notes. Um, of stuff that I was sticking on my monitor to try and help me remember things. And they were laying all over my desk because I figure I have to do something with these. So rather than going through them all last night, these are the ones from my plot board. Mm. So I kept, why those. aren't they on your plot board? Well, because my plot board got attacked by cats oh and they knocked it down i have the warranty for my refrigerator that i just bought which i need to do something with so that's why it's in here because I. so this is your home inbox and then yeah, you have a I work this inbox? brand new refrigerator and i did not register it so i need to do that so it's in my inbox here for personal stuff um my paypal my new paypal card is in here because i have to activate it so all that stuff is in here that's personal stuff that I can take care of bills that I have to pay. Um, what else is in here? Here's the electric bill, the credit card bill. Um, I have, this is a car, a business card. I need to put that into my contact somewhere. So rather than like stopping and doing all that stuff last night, I just put, put it all in box. this inbox. So I'm going to have to go through in my, I'm actually going to have to buy an inbox. I don't have anything resembling an inbox. And then I have it like an actual box sitting up here on my shelf behind my computer. I don't know if you guys want to see that or not, but so I have this shelf. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. Sitting behind my computer. And so I have two workspaces. I have an actual office that's downtown and in, in the bank building and it's a office. And then I work in my bedroom because my, I have office space in my house, but my husband, Kevin has been, <laughs> I don't know if I can say this with a straight face. I obviously can't. He uses it. <laughs> He uses it as his a man cave. He calls oh. it his man cave. And he okay. has like his video games set up in there and stuff. He act when I say video games, I'm talking about like arcade games, not like his Xbox. Oh, I so really he need has, to come and visit. Um, he has <laughs> a couple this COVID of, stuff is over. <laughs> yeah, he has a couple of like straight up arcade like games. And so I don't have any like actual office space. I have a small desk in my office in my bedroom, but it has like no space and I clean it off and I'm like yes I'm gonna clean it off and I'm gonna work there and then by the time I'm getting ready to work there I've already piled more stuff <laughs> so <laughs> clearly I need to do some work on my workspace and um, right. possible because I the problem is I have no drawers so everything sits out on the desk mm -hmm. this is a like a table and oh, uh, I have I have lots of drawers on my desk but I also have 10 grandkids and so <laughs> these drawers they... have become the place that I put things when the grandkids bring them to me and say, what's this Grammy? And I go, oh, you can't have that. And I stick it in my drawer. So my desk drawers are full of things that I've taken away from my grandkids. Uh, uh, and, and I've put them in here because I'm going to deal with it later. So how funny. The drawers yeah, are like I don't have any giant drawers, inbox. But I have a beautiful big old oak desk that my dad gave me and it's in the man cave. So, mm. um, will it fit in your bedroom? <laughs> no, it's massive. It's yeah. as big as my bed. And so there's no way uh, I have, because my parents-in-law both have Alzheimer's and they live with us and they have the master bedroom. So don't ask me how that happened. I, um, it's, 
<laughs> but it, they have this beautiful big bedroom with huge closets and I have like a little kid's bedroom with a little kid's closet and no space like it barely fits our bed so mm -hmm. um but I have an office it's just that like moving everything but I have some stuff here and some stuff there because I work right um up until COVID I worked about half and half and then the last year I've just been working at home um but anyway, my, all of that was to say, I do not own an inbox <laughs> because I don't have anywhere to put an inbox. But here's own the one. thing um, about the inbox is it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be like an actual box or basket. It could be, you know, your iPad, like a to-do list on your Yeah, but iPad, that stuff is all, be... um, well, I have, I do have notebooks, lots of them, it but I don't, what I need, notebook. but I, but what about, yes, my everyday notebook for sure. But what about this fate? Like, I, you know, like all those receipts and stuff, like I, they're everywhere because I don't have an inbox. So I'm, I am ordering an inbox. Do you have a scanner? No. Uh, yeah, I guess I do on my, on my printer, but because you could scan receipts and i feel like i just need to put an inbox in the man cave like, yeah but are you gonna if something comes in are you gonna get up out of your no i feel like i'm gonna go to... I, well it, by the time it comes in all the way upstairs to my bedroom it can pass right by that inbox and just go there so i feel like go especially there. for the home stuff right um right that makes i don't sense. need that to be in my room in my well, yeah space. that's true space is small and my husband um like pays all the bill like he does that home stuff stuff like if if we had a new fridge that we needed to register he would be dealing well, with that he like should that. have his own basket down there. he needs an inbox yeah give him <laughs> an, inbox. Need an inbox he give him an, an inbox. inbox in the man cave men everywhere man are cave. shuddering That's on the agenda for this week. <laughs> inbox in the man cave because i also bought i did buy like a document bag thingy mm -hmm. um that is because you know Meg and I, <laughs> we I love doing projects with you, Meg. But I'm going through. I'm trying. I I I'm, I started to say Meg and I are doing this because I decided that I wanted Meg to do it with me. And so in my mind, she's just doing it with me. <laughs> but in this book that's the proper. Am blueprint. I aware of it? Oh, the proper yeah. blueprint. I did the proper say blueprint. That and week <laughs> one. So I week one actually for me I start the weeks on Monday. So week mm -hmm. one of January. Even though this as we record this, it's January eighth. Um, this is still week one because it started on the fourth because the fourth was Monday. So my week, my personal week goes Monday to Sunday. Um, and so um, week one of January or of 2021 is January 4th to the 10th. So I have up till the 10th to do the first lesson or the first thingy and this prepper blueprint we want you guys to know that she's not behind on her project. i am not behind that's on what that job. thing was about yes <laughs> uh, anyway the the first lesson in the prepper blueprints have put together a binder like a yep. disaster binder and i was like i'm not putting all this shit in a binder it's a lot of shit so mm -hmm. I, instead i got a um document bag thing with like like slots for your passports right. and, um so anyway um that feels like part of this like that's going to be like another kind of inbox yeah probably the important crap goes into the binder box yeah. um you probably already have a disaster binder and it will probably take like six months it, to get I to have, any kind of lesson that you didn't haven't already done. <laughs> I have a flash drive. Um, but what mine. about things like your passport? I have a flash drive in my bug out bag and then I have a pouch. I'm not going to go get it, but I have a- No, don't get a pouch. I, have I mean, a, don't go get it. I have a pouch that has, um, we don't have passports, but I have a pouch that has um, just a paper copy of my driver's license. And you should make it a 2021 like goal to get your passport. Yes, that's, yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. Wait, okay. So here's how this that was works, one of my guys. 2020 goals. I had, wait, 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 oh, put how it on this works. List. So I am, Shanta just told me to get my passport and I like that idea. So I'm going to put on my little sticky note here um get passports and then i'm going to put the next action step 
for getting passports, which is um, find out how to get a passport. How to get a passport. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can answer that one for you. Then if I tell you how to get a passport, does that mean you get to put the next action step? Because you have to get the application from the pa the post office. Yes, I think I knew that I was going to say the library, but I think I knew that. No, it's okay, the post so, office. So since I know that the application has the post office, so now that's not my next step. So my next step is go to post office. Yes. You, you pick up three, pa you should get one for you and your girls. Yeah. So because um, we are recording this on January 8th, which means the stuff hit the fan yesterday. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> uh, so just in case you need to drive this way and then we can go to Niagara Falls and sneak into Canada or something. Yeah, right. Because they won't take you. We already know they won't take we you. We already tried. Yeah, because Shanta already tried to go to Canada and they sent her back with they an escort. <laughs> okay, so now I have my little sticky note thing here. Uh -huh. What I'm doing for my inbox right now, you guys are going to laugh, but is... I have this other calendar that I bought last year, which I actually really like. This is like a to-do list and a calendar in one. So what I've been doing is just sticking it on there. <laughs> so this is we my are so work. organized. And this is my work inbox right we now. We are we are so organized um, and beautifully um but I do, ready. I do want to show you guys this because this could be this could be your inbox because it has um it has a split i don't know if you can see that but the the lines are split in two columns oh so, who uh, makes so it there's two columns let's see right here who it's makes split. it so this side is your to-do list i can't even do this this side is your to-do list and it has little bubbles that you can check off when you're done and this side is for this side is for your appointments are those dates like monday tuesday it just says monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and you can date them at the top hmm. so who makes that pad um this is simplified oh yeah that's uh emily uh emily something. and i had I she also a planner had, I used last year. I also had the planner because I bought this because Shanta told me to. You know, I was a good little ninja writer last year, you guys. And um Yeah, I liked the planner. So I, I got the Walmart. planner. It's, cheap. it's like less than ten dollars. I love it. It's it is I actually love this one. And somebody said to me, Yeah, but how much did you use it? And I said, Oh, a couple of months. But then I went and looked and I actually used this from January to August. So I did really good with this, you guys. Yeah. So I really do like this one. You and know I what I, why I ended up going with a different planner is because that planner cut, I hate a planner that cuts Saturday and Sunday and, and puts it in one spot because yeah. I work on the weekend. And oh, this so one I doesn't though. Whole... This one has Saturday and Sunday separate. Oh, good. Okay. On good. here. But on this one page thing, it does cut it in half. Yeah. On this one. Mm -hmm. but this matches see it's all oh but see on your thing on on the that one the other days of the week get it all the way across and saturday and sunday only get a half yeah they do only get a half yeah so i need like a full amount for saturday and Sunday. but but they still have their two columns There are two columns but it's oh, not no, they enough don't. Space. they don't have their two mm -hmm. columns yeah yeah so so they yeah. like the those are designed for people who like I don't but know. I love the. I, I don't know what they it worked really well, and it has a thing at the beginning of the month. Let's see if I can show you this without giving away too much detail, but um, it has a thing that runs a to do list for the month that runs here. And so mm -hmm. what I would do is like this was August. So in July, if there was something I needed to do in August, I would just flip to August and put it on my to do list for the month. And then at the start of the month, I would go through and put all the lists, you know, all the things onto the calendar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's simplified. I wish I could remember the name of the woman. It, her first name is Emily. I'm going to look it up on my phone. Emily Lay. Lay, -Lay. yeah. Lay. Yeah, she yeah. designs that. And um, you can get it at Walmart or at, they also have them at Target. And they're at Walmart, I know for sure. We will put a link them. in the show notes. I will tell yeah, you. Yeah, but they're like less than, less than $15. They're not very expensive. 
Um, so I'm not at the, I guess I misunderstood. This is why this was so confusing to me because I, I thought we were supposed to collect all of the thoughts and stuff. And then when you have it all together, then do next action steps. So I haven't done any action steps. I just started okay. doing like, and this is my everyday notebook, which isn't this a pretty cover that my husband gave me for Christmas? That is very pretty. Anyway, this is my everyday notebook. And I just started listing every single thing I could think of that I needed to do. And then I realized I'm not going to want this in my everyday notebook because it's going to be separated like as I have to write other stuff because I use my everyday notebook every single day. I did. The so same what thing. I did is this is my um, I use this is my daily passion planner, which I am really, really loving right now. And I have these little notebooks that are these are from Fig and Barron and they're little and they fit right in my like you can. I can put the cover right in the plastic. Oh, that's here. cool. Yeah. And then I can, it just all fits together. Right. So I've got one that I was using like a bullet journal. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, I'll just put another one in the back. And so I transferred my, I don't know, like a rolling to-do list. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know, but I just put like every single idea that I could think of. And I'm still thinking of some, your but like is, everything. Well, you're doing the mind sweep though. That's a mind sweep. Oh, when you put every single thing that you can think of, that's, that's your mind sweep. So that's actually step. Oh, I skipped steps. No, you didn't. I don't think you skipped. I think it's the capture one. Did, did you capture? Well, because I just wrote them down. If you're capturing, you're just supposed to put them in your inbox. Yeah, but this is okay fine this is my inbox okay so then you can put those papers in your inbox but i i found this online i put it in my bullet journal which is um like a um it's backwards if i hold it up for you so i'm just gonna read it it's a, a getting things done trigger list mm -hmm. so it, it's like a list of things like projects started projects to start projects for other people, commitments and promises, like, and then you can ask yourself, like, that will help you with that. I guess a mind sweep, I call it a brain dump. Yeah, the next step is the mind sweep, which is yes, like a brain dump. So, but th this is really interesting. And it was, I found it free on the getting things done website. So I will, we'll put that in the show notes as well. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I'm like, it's like write everything down that you need to do and it's like so much stuff that it's like a bottleneck like yeah. what <laughs> and so um if you just like only have to think about the projects that you already have started mm -hmm. and then the projects that you want to start and then like i don't know on the personal one it's got like home stuff and then that triggered me to think oh we need to call someone to come fix our um our um fence and i have a broken window in the living room that needs to be replaced for like the last three years oh see that'll finally get so done that's gonna finally get oh oh wait a minute i gotta put that on my list <laughs> um so this list building stuff is right out of my right up my alley i like this part um it's the next part that i'm like oh shit it's the mind sweep Okay. No, I the mind it. sweep I can do. Oh yeah. I can do the this mind all day. sweep. I did it like three years in a row. I can actually show you guys, I think, if I kept it. But I did the mind sweep like three years in a row in uh, Microsoft OneNote where I could put little check boxes next to it. And so I could check stuff off. It was really cool. I don't know if I still have it though. Are you gonna do that again? Are you gonna use mine? I don't or know. I, see, I'm I know myself I get so well. I frustrated with handwritten because it's too slow for me. My brain um, thinks faster than my hand can write. And so my, that irritates, oh, I didn't keep it. Darn it. My problem with the digital is that I love setting it up. And so I'll spend weeks, days, months, whatever, setting it all up and then I'll close it. And then I'll never ever think of it again. And if I don't handwrite it, if I don't use a pen and write it down, I won't even remember what I put on it. Um, mm -hmm. So if I write it down with a pen, then it's in my brain and, and like, I, I will remember it. I mean, I'm not going to remember, this is like a lot of stuff on this <laughs> brain dump list, but our mind sweep or whatever, but um, 
Um, but I I, I'm likely, it. more likely to remember at least that I own this list if I actually had wrote it. What will happen with, if I set it up in Evernote is that the next time I think about Evernote, which might be three or four years from now or whatever, I'll open it and find my 2021 mind sweep and be like, oh yeah. Right. So which recently my, happened with Trello. Like I found my all mind, my stuff I had set up in like 2017 and I was like, yeah. huh. My mind but, sweep had categories like household to-do list. It had grocery shopping list, daily home tasks, extra tasks, slash get these off my plate. Um, my personal list. So Make I feel like tasks. that's the next step, right? Is to come up with these lists to put these things in. Yeah, we have to do the mind sweep. So I, um, no, that's you, not the mind sweep. That's the processing the mind Well, the sweep. next thing is the mind sweep. Yeah, but the mind sweep isn't putting them in the right list. It's just no. making one big list. The mind sweep, is, mind sweep is one great big list where you just dump out everything. It says things you've committed to doing, things you want to do, things you are thinking about doing, creative ideas that you don't want to slip away, um, everything everything that your brain is thinking because the idea is that when you dump all that out of your brain and onto your paper and into your system where you know it's going to be handled then your brain kind of does this sigh of relief thing and it lets the creativity back in mm. so that's a little scary though because so to do ideas. your mind sweep this is what you do you find a quiet place then you have a pen and a stack of paper. You can use the blank pages in the book. They give you some pages right here. All right. All right. And then you start capturing every thought or idea or project that is on your mind and has your attention. It's a complete brain dump. Brain dump. Put every thought on a separate piece of paper makes the next moves easier but writing them in a long list or even recording yourself on a digital service can also work if you choose so if you have each thing on a that's why i was doing the sticky notes i didn't know it until now but i knew that i wanted to do sticky notes when i started this but um is because then you can take the sticky note and process it and throw it away um hmm so because once it's in your system it's in your system so you don't so the processing it is making like specific lists for different things right right that's the next step that is part of the whatever the clarify section Pretty. yeah so should we go through the trigger list we could do you have the trigger list i don't have the trigger list i have the trigger list all it's right project. If you have the trigger list i don't know if i have enough post-it notes to do this today <laughs> Oh, get out your get out that big stack of um, index cards. Oh yeah, I could do them on the index cards. That would be good. So yeah, it says um, you Projects get everything together, started. and then the next step is going to be where do all these things go from here? In the later move titled "Get Your In Trade to Empty," you will learn the best practices for what to do with all these items and the other things in your tray. So. Actually, there's quite a lot of stuff between the and he has, personal and the work on the yeah, trigger let list. Me read just this section because he has this section. It says grief and relief. Grief can stem from items coming forward that had been tucked away in your mind for too long. This might include things you had promised yourself or someone else you would do. Now these items are in your system and you can decide what to do with them. Anne Hoffnagel, I am going to give you your list of markets because that just came up in my brain. <laughs> um, relief. Oh, no. relief comes from getting all these items out of your head and into your system, getting a grip on your current realities for better or worse is always a positively productive starting place. It sounds like a marriage. <laughs> For better or worse, till death do us part. No. Oh, no. Okay. I'm ready. Let's. Oh, all right, he's so, got the trigger list right here in the book. Oh, is the trigger list right there in the book? Oh, okay. But it's also online. So I'll link to where I found it online for you all guys because right. it's on their website. Um, Holy moly. There's a lot of stuff though. There is a lot of stuff. And we, um, so. <laughs> okay. So the first one is projects. Projects and, started. 
yeah project started projects to start and projects for other people like that would be like making a giving Anne a list of maybe I don't this know. my trigger list says projects started not completed projects that need to be started projects i have with other organizations yeah then it has look into projects which i'm guessing would be the kind of stuff that you want to do but you haven't taken oh that so that's on their work do you have two lists on in the book for personal and work oh i'm or on the personal one? one i need to switch over to the, the the work list online had the look into projects like stuff to look into yeah the professional list has it too okay so projects not started or projects started but not completed projects that need to be started look into projects so i would guess that's your like projects to explore Mm -hmm. so, so do those three okay so what kind of projects do you have going on oh my goodness okay so i have my where the lost things go i have to put the book down so that i can write on my to-do list Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have Where the Lost Things Go series. Oh, are you writing all your, your writing projects on here? Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Why not? I mean, we're writers, right? That's what I do. Yeah. Sometimes, right? All right. Uh, Where the Lost Things Go, the series, which the first one you guys i gotta tell you has been copy edited ever so thoughtfully by Kristen, and um it is uh uploaded into vellum but needs some revision um thank you to barbara giles for that and um so it and, and it has a beautiful cover from janita key um Okay, so I have that one. So that's going to, the first one is going to publish this week. Good. Which is quickly, oh, it's Friday. Okay, maybe next week. <laughs> no, you put it on medium. You have to do it today um, or tomorrow. When does your week start? See, it really helps to know when your week starts. If your week can start on Monday like mine, then you can put them all the way up till Sunday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have that one. What else do I have? I have my time travel novel. Oh yeah. Which currently is has a working title of A Hat in Time. I don't know, that's probably gonna change, but and that I read the first chapter or the first scene. I don't think it was really a chapter because it was pretty short. Um the first scene in the sci-fi workshop on Wednesday, which was fabulous, by the way. <gasps> yes, it's that Kristen. was the first time that I've got to be a student in a workshop, and that was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was awesome. And really, rocking. really great feedback. Yeah. Okay, so I have that. I have my niche to pitch um, book, and I have decided that that's going to be two books. The first, I'm gonna, I'm going to make. Um, it's going to be two books, or at least two sections, but. Um, niche to pitch, which is um, finding freelance clients, or maybe becoming a first time freelancer or something like that. And then um, the second one is going to be the establishing your authority. Because I really feel like that's going over with people. I'm going to put these both on the same post it because it's big enough. Um, So what projects are you putting down, Chanta? Well, I wrote down, I have a lot, I have so many projects, but I definitely want to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, yes. Hello, YouTube. Um, start a YouTube channel this year, um, and I am determined, and, and it just seems very overwhelmingly That's big. That's doing this video, you guys. I know, but it seems very overwhelmingly big. Like, okay, we're going to make this video, but it's to be edited, and then I don't know. So I have YouTube on my list. Of, I have YouTube. Of, um, I, I'm just going to do it this year. I'm going to figure it out. Um, Dance Filter is going to have a YouTube. And then for my writing projects, I have so many. It's ridiculous. But I just listed, like, I have the two romance series that I'm working on writing. I've written the first in one, and I'm halfway through the first in another series. Um, and then I have another series where I've written three books in the series, but they need pretty heavy editing. 
Um, I have like this weird situation going on where I've been writing those books almost as long as I've been writing fiction. Like the first book in that series was my second ever novel. And I've just become such a better writer that as I'm reading through them, I'm like, oh no, oh my God, it's not good. Um, so that's weird situation. Um, I also have two thirds of a young adult series that was published by Penguin and I would like to self publish and figure out how I wanna finish that because I don't even feel like I can market those books because they end on a cliffhanger and then I never finished. So that's um, one of those things like um, what they were talking about, what you just write about like grief or whatever, like it's right. It's, it, it, it's so upsetting to me that I don't even think about it. You know, well, I have so, this little note here. I don't know if you, oh, right I there, figure. Daenerys Destiny. I have that one. And then I have this one. Both of these I started, I don't even know, 10 years ago. Oh um, yeah. So those are on my list. Well, I also mm -hmm. have, so I started in our workshop on Wednesday nights, I started reading a young adult book that um, I would like to try self-publishing. And I'm excited about that one because I can self-publish it um, in my, with my real name. <laughs> and, uh, and so I'm excited to do that. Um, I have a book another one of those things it's like I know I need to do and I haven't done it and it needs to be done is um my agent sent me edits on another YA book and I don't like that book but I have another book called 312 that I need to um I need to do the edits that my agent sent and get it back to her um and maybe explore a little bit why I'm I'm so resistant. I've got some resistance to that. And I think part of it is that I just don't like the book. And I, I, I actually like the story a lot, but I, I did not uh, particularly enjoy writing. It was a, it's a tough subject and it was rough to write. And I don't want to find myself in a situation where I'm constantly having to write contemporary YA because it's not my thing. Mm. And so that's some of the resistance. And another part of the resistance is that my last book that came out was in March of 2020, which I don't know if you remember March of 2020, but Ooh. like the whole freaking world shut down just as right. my book was coming out. And so it didn't sell well because every avenue for selling a book like pretty much closed down and nobody was thinking even about buying books on Amazon and even Amazon I don't know if you remember in March April Amazon even stopped shipping like they stopped marketing books you know because in favor of toilet paper and stuff so mm -hmm. um, uh, it was like oof, not a good time and and I think I've just got a weird I, I don't know, mindset right now about traditional publishing that I need to explore a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's on my list. Um, and I also have these, I, I published a nonfiction book in October with the goal of publishing one every month. And then I didn't do one in November. So I was like, okay, I won every other month. And I didn't do one in December either. So I need to um, get those published and they're so short. Did you put that on your list? I did. So okay. my second, and then I have a goal of writing six of those in 2021. Um, so I have a goal, goal of getting one out in January, huh? Is to write 10, 10. of the short stories for where the lost things go. Yeah. These are longer than those short stories. I yeah. think they're closer to 10,000 words. Yeah. Those are longer. My first short story ended up being almost, it's just over 5,000 words. And it started out as 800 words. Now it's just over 5,000. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. So I guess I can't write short stories either, guys. That's a short story. <laughs> it's not a flash not Short, short stories. It was flash fiction and now it's a short story. All right, what's the next thing on our figure I have to, I was just gonna show you guys this. I have to hang my calendar. But, but it's here's, too big. It's here's so the cute. problem. It's way too big for my wall. <laughs> Smaller than you, Mary. So it's a six month calendar, which I'm excited about. But it is way too big for my wall. 
It's bigger than you. Um, my 16 year old suggested that I cut it back to four months and then it would fit. Could you do I three wanted, months and do it on top of each other, like vertical? I want it on the wall over here. But oh, could I you do, could, could you make it three months and then make it like first three months and second three months on top of each other? Could you do that? You know what I want to do about on the wall behind my bed that, uh, or not behind my bed, behind my uh, desk is, um, which is a gray wall like this, is I want to get like a pegboard where I can hang some stuff up um, I because I have no space. I think I'm going to turn my desk um, and then I'm going to like at the, I don't know whether that would be the back side of my desk or the front, of, but in front of me at the edge of my desk, I want to put something going up that I can put a cork board or something on mm. with some visual. You need, you, <laughs> you I'm need in my like kitchen, a guys. I can't wall. get inspired by cans of vegetables. You need like a cubicle wall. I was, when but I was I did order these pegboards. dry erase oh. markers that Chantal Are they dry erase or wet erase? They are, they're the ones you told me to get. Oh, wet erase. Yeah, wet erase, sorry, Expo Vis-a-Vis -vis wet erase. Yeah. Um, fine point. We yeah. will link to these. Yeah, that's for her calendar. If you use wet erase, you, it won't smudge. And especially if you're planning out six months. Let me put this down. Please. So I wanted to show you, I, I don't feel like we're going to go through all these lists because that's going to be, we're going to, that's going to be a boring video. It's going to take well, forever. No, we started. Yeah, um, we're going to go through all of those. But I wanted to show you, so I was um, watching uh, watching a video online and I came across this um have you ever heard of the Alistair method for bullet journals I have I've have you ever heard done? of it but I I'm not familiar with it well so, so I have I I decided to try it see and I I I have these notebooks that I make right and they're in our Etsy store and someone bought this one and then I don't know they they thought that they were going to get the actual book so they sent it back because they got a notebook and I was like oh wow okay like um so but this is this cover cracks me up so I decided rather than putting it back in this shop I was going to keep it okay. and use it for my Alistair method it's look at it it's the zodiac. we're going to link to Shanta's Etsy store it's a zodiac diet cookbook nice but what cracks me up so somebody that ordered that because they thought they were going to get the zodiac, zodiac, zodiac diet no. the zodiac diet cookbook from 1970. Yeah for real and they paid like but look the inscription so can you see this right here it has the inscription and it says from the catalog department on your birthday 1970 and i'm like can you imagine going to work in the catalog department gave you the zodiac diet cook yeah i don't think i would be happy about that at all with, Shanta, with, if with, you give me a diet cookbook for my birthday we're gonna have work girl on the front like that yeah. is the most inappropriate birthday gift from your work department i've ever I mean, there's more inappropriate ones, probably, but this is it, a thing. Anyway, it cracked me up. So the kind of job do you have that has a catalog? What you do department. is write a to-do list for your whole weekend, and mm -hmm. you and you don't have to organize it. You can just write it, right? Like all the stuff you need to get done. And then over here, you do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and this little symbol here, which means that you're gonna actually do it next week. Huh? Nope. Nope. What? Nope. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. I would just be like, huh? <laughs> well, so then you look at like the first thing on here is that I need to launch the self-editing workshop, right? And I thought I was going to do it on Thursday. So I put a little dot there, but it didn't happen yesterday because we didn't get the um, sales page up. So uh, my goal is to do it today. So I put, I put, turn my dot into this little symbol to move it over to Friday and then put the dot there and then it'll be launched the whole week. And then when you do it, so like, um, I have it on here. One of my learning projects for this month is to learn how to play the guitar. So I wanted to order a um, guitar pit, tuner and pick. So I just like put a mark. I was going to do that on Wednesday and I crossed it off when I did it. And then you cross it off your list. So then when I go to make my to-do list for today, I can look and see, like, just look down Friday and see everything that I had marked on there. Like I needed to um, talk to my dad today. Um, about yes, yes, you do. Yeah, so I did though, because I had it on my Alistair list. See, there it is. Oh, good. Awesome. Somewhere around here. Yeah, talk to dad regarding the press. There it is right there. Awesome. And I I was going to do it on Thursday and I didn't, so I migrated it over to Friday. 
Um, good, but good. this is interesting to me because usually my method here is to every day, I just rewrite it. So like I would have rewritten call dad regarding the press right. um, on Friday when I didn't do it on Thursday. And this way I only have to write it once, but I still have this thing of, I keep having to move it over. And so like, that's embarrassing, you know, it's not embarrassing. It's just going to get in my brain. Like I need to do this so I can just yeah. cross it off. Like my brain wants to be able to cross it off. Well, and if, if I get all the way to the end to, of If I remember that method correctly, um, because I do use those little dots with the arrows on mine, but well, that's um, the bullet journal symbols. If I remember correctly, you're only allowed to do that three times. Oh, well, I don't know about that. So I don't know. I mean, I, I was just watching a YouTuber and she didn't mention that. Um, you get to the third time, then you, you have to do just it. Just do it. Yeah. Yeah. But like, and then sometimes like I put on here to order a pegboard for behind my desk. And then I decided after I wrote it and I marked it for Sunday. And then I was like, oh no, you know, I'm going to wait because I have um, affiliate, like my affiliate pay coming in oh. next week. So I'm going to wait and get it with that. So I like moved it over to next week's. But anyway, I'm actually really liking this little book it helped it, and I feel like it will be good for my getting things done with, like for those <laughs> next steps you know what I mean but see that could be your inbox that could be well no, this inbox. isn't an this is a the next thing after inbox it's like processed already like I'm gonna do it this but week writing so it on, my, on the list writing it on the list is your inbox and then right but the, but the, when the you're inbox do. is like all the stuff right this is right? only the stuff after it's on the all the stuff thing then it goes into this like when I go oh, so this is week. like your next steps list like for this week yeah okay um works for me I, I, I feel like we need to have another video about the whole next step because that one I think feels very, uh, I have like, well, I, so me and Meg have matching notebooks and Junita oh, yeah. has them too. And this one's going to be my, um, my processing or clarifying or whatever How notebook. They do that where they put their hand behind it. That's not working. Guys, we have to practice our video YouTube. There oh, we no. go. Yay. And Jupita has one too. We'll link to these because they can be like oh. the official anyway. Oh, but this yeah, had this true. really long thing. Meg still has it. And I like mm. did surgery on mine because it was driving me crazy. But um, she's already modified hers, you guys. I did. Adapted, adapted. Uh, adapted. So anyway, we have, it has, it's just a little three ring or six ring small binder. It's a, a, like a, I don't know what size this is. Maybe a B6. Um, anyway, um, I think what I'm going to do, so I got, did you, is this the note pages you got Meg? Yeah. So yeah. I think what I'm going to do is have like this, I have, we have five of these. Do we? Yeah, I, I already think, decided I want to redo mine because I didn't like, I, I set mine up with sections. So I had hmm. Ninja Writers Team, Tuesday Tech, Nids to Pitch. Tuesday Academy workshop, sci-fi workshop, and then where am I going to write my to-do list? So um, that's why I started using this other thing. So I don't know. I'm going to play with this for a little bit, but I know myself. And so when I bought this notebook, I bought an extra pack of paper and I bought an extra pack of these little tabby things so I can ruin them and still once I get my system together. You can turn them upside down too and then write yeah, on the back side of them. them over. Um, once but, I get my system together, I can, yeah. I think what I'm going to do, because you're supposed to have a list like, uh, next steps and someday maybe, and I don't even know, but, um, but I bought this because it matches well, my brand. My handy dandy. Yes. It matches your branding. My branding for my coaching is nautical. So this is the ship's wheel and this is the anchor. And this is my Navy blue, which is one of my, so I still, oh, okay. Look, so next actions waiting for someday maybe and mm. rough ones. those are the I folders those. i put those on here's what i did i put those on index cards those topics that you just read off so um next actions waiting for someday maybe and other 
I can tell you already that this someday maybe index card is not going to be long enough for my someday maybe list. I have an entire um, lit, um, section in my notebook for that. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm thinking, what if in our little handy dandy thing here, if those tabby things were the someday maybe. Yeah, yeah that's what I that's what I just said, Meg. Oh, well, so I'm gonna... not listening. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm going to do, I think. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I like that idea, Shanta. And then pro projects can be on there. You can have a section for projects and then a page for each project. I don't know. I just feel like this is going to take me like all of 2021 to get going. And then I'm oh, hoping no. it's worth it. I can just feel that I will go down the rabbit hole of getting this set up. And then I'm going to be like, it's um, not it's not i also got these oh yeah two of them again brand color i'm going all out with the branding you guys mm -hmm. um, uh, so i also bought this it, one but i have that one this is a workbook oh i didn't get the workbook i have the book book i mean the companion planner for miracle it seems like so much between oh it's a planner what i really like is it has this whole section here um and it has everything sectioned out this week's goals and then it has the days across the top and it has a quote for the day it has a place to put your intention for the day and what you're grateful for today it has a to-do list with highest priority definite priority lowest priority habit to work on this week I know Shanta's going to love that. And then it has a ready for tomorrow list at the bottom that you can check off if you have things ready for tomorrow. It has, um, this is what really got me, which is probably kind of silly, but it has this whole section here at the bottom of the calendar that is for projects. So it says project name, team players, important dates, and deadlines on this side. And then over here, it's just this great big square for brainstorming. Um, that's totally almost exactly like a passion planner. Yeah. So I really, well, maybe I have to look at the passion planners now, but. I feel like if you're into it, I have this big weekly passion planner that I bought because look at the cover. For, is that yeah. the prettiest cover? And it so is. I bought it on Black Friday, but I'm realizing I'm going to have to think about it. It's like on my list this week to brainstorm like either how i'm going to use this or do something else with it but maybe i'll send it to you it's way too big for my likes i don't i like it would have to just sit on your desk but look it's set up the exact same way oh wow so this yeah. is um personal and work like to-do list prioritized in three sections and then mm -hmm. this is just the blank space to do see i wonder want. if those three sections at the bottom are like the four sections in here couldn't end up being like the waiting for list and the next actions list and the someday maybe list and the other. I don't know, but they have least, like up here, you have the weekly focus and the good things yeah. that happen. But the thing is, is that I really liked my daily one and I can't, like I was gonna use this and the daily one. And then I found that I was just repeating and I don't wanna write everything down twice. Like that's stupid just because yeah. I like the cover of the planner. So I'm trying not to be ridiculous. Um, but what I do with my daily planner, so this is the daily one and it has all of these sections. I'm gonna have to show you one that's not. Okay, um, can you see them? Yeah. So there's today's focus my game changer goal that's like one big goal that you're working on uh personal work free space to grow self-maintenance which is like self-care best thing that happened today i learned and today in one word okay mm. and then you have this um is like a schedule and then you have a whole blank page that's for every day this is a mm. three month um this is a three month um you need wow. one every three months, but they're not dated. So if you didn't use it every day, I hate when I have it. to date stuff, but well, all you do is, I mean, you just write it up. You write the date goes, um, let me get back to that page. So the date goes up here. Yeah. You don't, yeah. I just write it because I fill this out. I don't do them ahead of time. I only do one day ahead. 
so like this is tomorrow's all filled out but what i do can you see i just mark out those and put my own mm -hmm. so this is um like like people i need to talk to this is stuff to do for home this is ninja writers this had been writing but i'm trying something new which i'll talk about in a second and so this is ivy lee here because this is a system i want to try this week okay. um and this is writing this is my stuff for my uh oh money and then self-care um but i, I have found that when i have a planner that closes I'm mm -hmm. very tempted to just close it and leave it sit, which is one of the reasons why I got this one last Yeah, year. I like a spiral bound and I actually because was it can stay open. I own a um like a big cutter that would cut through this book all in one time in one shot. And then I also own a spiral binder and I'm really tempted to spiral bind these. Um <laughs> because of that, because I want to be able to open it, flip it around, you know. Right. And so that is one of the reasons why I went ahead and bought this handy dandy little thing mm -hmm. that matched that planner because it stays open on my desk. Like it's always there and, and it's really hard for me to ignore it when I'm actually, you know, looking at it, it. but yeah, on my, I set it over in the pile, but on the blank page over here, I write down the stuff I need to do that day. And then in here, I write down your appointment, my, actual, my, my classes mostly. Yeah. I think yeah. it's good to keep like classes and appointments in a separate list from to do's because my to do's got all mixed in with my appointments and stuff. So I think it's yeah, good yeah. to kind of keep those lists separate. So I do like that feature in a plan. Well, the yeah. interesting. So I took a planning cl a class with um, a woman who um, she's actually a, like an award winning big deal cookbook author, but um, she also writes children's books and I love her so much. Her name's Crescent Dragonfly. <laughs> she's the best name ever. And Crescent taught a class on left brain, like left brain planning for right brain people. That was the name of the class or something mm. along those lines. And I took the whole thing and then um, her system was like i did it one day in here and then i was like oh no that's not gonna work for me so hers just uses one page and you put all the i all the sections and then you just write it all in there and then you can draw lines like if this relates to this you can draw a line and i was like mm -mm. oh my god the reason this didn't work for me is there was it was completely non-linear right she does this in a in a sketchbook and there's no like you have to look all over here to see what am i supposed to be doing at three o'clock today like it's all in the and under right, the section right. instead of in a row so i was like well that's not going to work but i thought oh i really liked the the, the topic so coming up with topics for your your day you know um mm -hmm. so i um so you so adapted I, I adapted my passion planner so sometimes i just mark it off with a pen and then write it next to it and then some days i use like a little washi tape or something and then write it next to it um but, uh, and then I do the task list, which is part of her system over on the other side. And um, this is working I, for me right now, we'll see. But so far it's working pretty well. And I, I just really like this um, daily passion planner, which you can get for free. You can download the pages for free and just print them out. In fact, you can download a whole- Getting my them. sticky notes, cause I know we're gonna want a link to that. Yeah. Um, that's one of the things I love about Passion Planner is they're so generous. So you can download this layout and just print it out as many times as you want um, to see. I did it. Um, on, I did it with the printed ones several times before I bought it, oh, like for a couple great. of weeks, because it these books are. Oh, that's on my list. Set something like this up in a in a bullet journal type notebook, and just that's on my out. list. I'm gonna buy a scanner, a printer scanner. Oh yeah. Um, but the, what I like about, um, I, I just decided I, I, when they had their black Friday sale, I went ahead and bought by that time I knew I wanted to do it and I'd wanted the printed book. So I just bought them and, um, they're like $25 for one that lasts for three months, but you get one free when you buy four. So you get the whole year for, like seven or well i i think i got the whole year for like 50 some dollars a little bit more than 50 dollars which is roughly the price of a like high-end like an Aaron condren planner or like a high-end planner um but it's far more expensive than a monthly i mean a 
weekly passion planner. So, but I, I surprised myself by liking this because what I do, how I do my actual, like, um, I, I have tried every method literally, I think under the sun. And the thing that works the best for me for planning, like regular everyday planning is I need a month at a glance. So I need to see my whole month at one glance. Um, and so I don't need the weekly passion planner because I don't need to plan in advance. I just use, I plan in advance on here in pencil mostly because, but these are all my workshops and stuff and appointments. I'm very busy. So when I say I'm busy, you guys, just no joke. There are no empty squares in this calendar. Anyway, I plan my, this I really like though, it's a five-year one. Yeah. So it's just five years of these big square planners. I really liked that the, um, I'm calling it my nautical journal, but this came with a three-year um, yeah. packet that I ordered, had a three-year calendar, like just one page, three-year calendar. Mm -hmm. So I can at least open it and see, you know, what's what the day is. You had something else you wanted to talk about before we. Oh, I was. Have today. you heard of the Ivy Lee method? No. I, so I'll link to it in the yeah, show notes. We are going to have so many show notes for this call, but that's yeah, all right. It's not uh, be. It, the Ivy Lee method. I found this blog post, and it was like the hundred-year-old productivity method that will blow your Ivy mind. Ivy Lee. Like, are you saying league like a baseball league, or are you saying no, league? like the first name Ivy and last name L E E? And apparently like in 2018 or 1918, so a hundred years or, or more ago, okay. this man walked into like some businesses, like give me 15 minutes with your um, executives and I'll change, you know, and then, and I'll change your, your business. And he, there's like, well, what will you charge? And he said, pay me when you're, you know, after I do it, it's only going to take me a few minutes. And if you think it's worth it, then you can pay me what you think it's worth. And I, which to me is like, it, it's like, I don't know, that sounds like an urban legend, but whatever, it's a good story. Um, and But all it is, is that he told the executives to sit down at night at the end of their day and make a list of six things that they are going to do tomorrow, prioritize, like absolute first thing that needs to get done, okay. absolute second thing. And then in the morning when they come to work, they just do the first thing until it's done. Mm -hmm. And then they do the second thing. <laughs> um so that's pretty simple um wow. but you it, it but it has to be six things so you no more or less than six things and it's the first thing like make this phone call or um whatever it is that's on your list it goes first and then you know you just so you write the six things down and then you prioritize them and then when you get up the next morning you just start doing them and then when you get up the next morning, you do the first thing first and then the second thing. And and then whatever didn't get done starts your list for tomorrow. Right. And you just do that every day. So I, I thought I'm going to use this. Now I've done the, you've heard of eat the frog. So I, yeah, but this would be rather than eat the frog is um, doing the worst thing first. Mm -hmm. And this is doing the first thing first, like the thing that has to get done first, doing right. that first. Or the thing that's time bound, right? Like, like tomorrow at 11 o'clock, I have to do the self-publishing class. But I also have a problem like every freaking week forgetting about, like I panic because I'm like, oh my God, did I send out the email for that? Because it's not my class. And so it's not in my brain to do it. So I put that on my list. So it's going to be super easy. First thing I have to do tomorrow is um send out that email send out that email right and then by the way guys if you're listening and you're in that self-publishing class if you have not been getting um emails make sure that you whitelist ninja writers um dot org and if you don't know how to do that you can come to the tuesday night tech call and we will walk you through how to whitelist ninja writers dot org so that your the emails we're sending you don't go to spam in the meantime if you're not getting them Go check your spam, go check your promotions because we have confirmation that lots of our stuff has been going there instead of going to your inbox. So please do the whitelisting. Okay. End of public service <laughs> that was, announcement. That was going to say, five. that was Meg's PSA. Um, but Sorry. 
you can um anyway if it's just these six things and i i think i i don't know i haven't done it yet i'm starting it tomorrow but i thought how interesting because um i would love to just do six be, things well it's not about just doing those six things it's about making sure you do those six things right mm -hmm. so these are your six top priority things because what i notice is that if i have a list a to-do list that's like I don't know, like this long, it's like a ton of stuff. Um, I, at all, it, my brain has a hard time. Like I prioritize it by time or whatever, but, it, but, um, I don't know, like it all it contributes to the overwhelm. Yeah. And it all seems equally important. Right. And so if you have just those six, six things, you get to feel like you've accomplished something you know what I mean? And right. also I feel like it will be a good, um, it'll be like a good compliment to the getting things done thing, because it's like, literally, if you have your next action steps and you know, which projects you're working on mm -hmm. now, you just go write the next action step for that project in your thing. And cause sometimes it can be like, okay, the next action step is to go to the post office to get your thing well if you can put in your calendar what day are you going to go to the post office and then that goes on your sixth thing your list of six things you know what i mean then right. it might actually get done instead of just being because in your mind even though you know the next step is to go to the post office you're actually thinking of the whole thing getting right right passport well, is involved and what I'm thinking is that if my next step is go to the post office and I put that on my calendar for Wednesday and then on say Monday, I get a text message that Samara's prescriptions are ready to be picked up. I can put those on the calendar for Wednesday and I can do both of those things at the same time, which. Yes. Oh my gosh. We yeah. are so on top of things, man. <laughs> we are going to be so overwhelming. Uh, yeah, it can be overwhelming mm. to think about getting your passport all at one time, because if you like, cause you're already, I don't even know about your brain, but mine's like, well, you don't want to get one for, what are you going to leave your kids at home? Like you need to get one for you and your girls. That's three mm -hmm. passports and they each cost like a hundred bucks. Really. No, I wouldn't leave them at home. I'm just kidding. But I mean, you like, if you're going to get one, you're probably going to get all of them. And that's like, right. $450. Watch out, for, Jonathan. I'm coming to Ireland. <laughs> that's $450. And that might keep you from doing any of it, but you can get it all done up till then. And then you can start thinking about, well, where am I going to prioritize? Like when, or how am I going to prioritize the money? Cause maybe you do get one at a time. Like maybe mm -hmm. you get one this month and one next month or one this quarter and one next quarter. Cause a passport lasts for 10 years. So by the end of this year, you could have them all done. Right. Um, right. Without, um, you know, but you'll have them. And then, um, and then you can, you know, come visit me. And when you come visit me, we can actually like go to Niagara Falls or something. That is our, where we are so far oh, with getting things done. I would love to hear in the comments if you're trying the, if you're reading, getting things done, if you're having a better time at it than we are. And what are, um, what's you're system? probably not having any more fun though. This is what system are you using and link to it in the comments? Yes. So that everybody can systems. find the system that works for them because that's what it's really about. So you got to find the system that works for you. And maybe you have to adapt it like Shanta has yeah. done. So that yeah. it for you. I did for a long time, the whole thing of you just make your list and you mm -hmm. get done what you get done. And the next day you make your list of whatever you didn't get done and you just keep going. And I was so frustrated by having to write the same freaking. See that I don't over, mind over again. That. Because mm -hmm. that makes me do. By the time I wrote that I don't whole want to write it again. By the time I wrote that whole list, I could have done three things that were on it. Yeah, but then you, why didn't you just do them? So yeah, that's what that I down. said. This is silly. Yeah, but I'm you're not, so you the weren't doing my list. List. <laughs> It works for me. It works for me because I will do the thing to avoid writing oh, it again. Yeah, and if it, different. if you are not going to, I think part of it is um, like, I, I am a, you know, if you're a carrot or a stick person, right. And I'm a really a carrot person. Like I like rewards. Um, so making myself rewrite something over and over again is like as strict of a stick as I get. Like, I don't, mm -hmm. uh, I don't respond very well to, um, like hardcore <laughs> negative. See, I think negative my problem is, I think I am a stick person, 
but my stick is not hard enough for me because I don't scare myself. Yeah, I don't like being scared at all. So yeah, <laughs> I am a scared myself. person and I will. So I, I, I can either think of not having to write that down in my book. In fact, my brain is trying to turn it around right now and saying it's my reward to myself is that I don't have to write it down again if I just do it. <laughs> um, so um, I, I don't really yeah, my well. brain is just like, so don't write it down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I, um, I'm also a rule follower, I guess, but I, I will keep well, because I want to do it. I mean, I mm -hmm. want to get it done. So I will, will keep writing it down. And then I'll either do it or I'll evaluate it and just decide why am I not doing this? And it might just be that I don't need to do it. Like it doesn't mm -hmm. need, or I can ask someone else to do it, or I can hire someone to do it or whatever. Like it might mm -hmm. just not need to be done. Right. Um, which I find sometimes, but I, one thing about the getting things done method that I'm like, how am I going to manage with just one list? Cause I'll never do anything on it. Like if I don't have to write it down every day. Mm. So I think I'm going to have to do some sort of adaptation where I make that those like next up and whatever lists, but then I actually also write it down on my to-do list um, or I won't do it. Like it'll just be in my neat little book. <laughs> but those things are your to-do list. I know, but I mean, I need to know which of those things. It's like a huge to-do list of forever. Like I need to know what I'm supposed to do today. Well, no, because they will be on this like waiting for next actions someday maybe list. But how do you figure out what you're supposed to do today? Because then it goes on your calendar. Because right, but what once, if you don't do it today on your calendar? Like once you, write you, make, it down, but you don't do it. Once you make these lists, if I remember this correctly, I haven't read that section yet, but once you make these someday, someday maybe next actions waiting for and other, then you have to every day you process those categories. And so if something's on your someday maybe list, then you have to either take it, decide that you're not going to do it or you decide that you are going to do it someday. And if you're going to do it someday, then you put it on, you know, your Amazon wish list or your places to travel list or whatever it is so that it's taken care of. And then if you have stuff on your next actions, if it takes less, I forget what the time limit was. I think it's two five minutes. minutes. Yeah. Two, two minutes. If it takes you less than two minutes to just do the thing that's on your next actions list, then you just have to do it. Right. I, I get that. And I, that's and otherwise you schedule it. And when you right. schedule what it, do you it goes do onto your if calendar. You schedule it. And then you like what you just said, like you write it and then you don't do it. Well, then what? Yeah. Well, that's the part I haven't figured out yet because I'm a right. stick person and my stick is not tough enough for me. But, <clears throat> but rewards don't work for you either. You're, um, well, you're I guess rewards. I mean, rewards work a uh, somewhat for me, I guess. Stickers don't do it for me. I, I feel very rewarded that my desk is cleaned off. Mm -hmm. That makes me happy. Um, I, I'm having a little bit of, of guilt and shame with, uh, so that, that kind of motivates me a little bit because I don't like to tell people I'm going to do something and then I don't do it. So mm -hmm. um, that kind of motivates me a little bit. Um, so that's my reason for getting this, you know, the getting things done and doing some kind of system, which I've needed to do for about three or four months now. I feel like I was already using some of the stuff that he talks about in, um, his I think book you and are. I read the book and I, I think like, you're doing, shit, so yeah, I think you're doing more of it than you under, than you knew you were doing. Yeah. But your everyday notebook is your inbox for you for work. It's my least. main inbox for yeah. sure. Um, and then you're processing, you're already doing that part when you go through and you cross things out and you move them to a different list. You're already doing that clarifying part, which is what he talks about. Um, yeah. So I think you're already doing some of it. So that's good. Yeah. When I look at his book, it just seems so... Like I couldn't even, I'm, can't you just tell me like step one? Do this? <laughs> um, so the workbook, if you need somebody to just say like, step one, do this. Right. Um, step two, do this next thing. Like the workbook is definitely better for that. Right. Okay. I love it. I think I'm excited. we are good for today. And um, 
I don't know, subscribe to our channel. And I bet you will do at least one more call about getting things done by the end of the month. <laughs> See how we will come back and let you know how our systems are working in a couple weeks. All right, bye everybody. Bye.